in the ashram that Shisha Upanayana, in that uh, the advice to the student is about how to behave with the patients. Now, that's again a proof to say that in the initial stage itself, the student was allowed to deal with the patients in the beginning itself, beginning of the course itself. Now, during that advice, so the teacher advises about the student like uh, how to select the patient, prioritization of the treatment. That prioritization of the uh, treat patient in the sense, Dvija Guru Dharidra Mitra Prabhupada Upanata Sadhu Anata Abhipadatayanam Cha Atma Bhandavan Iva Swabhesha Jehi Pratikartavyam Evam Sadhu Bhavati. The patients who are uh, for, uh, the uh, obedient patients and who have a disciplined life and who need to be respected are those who are really orphans and don't have caretakers. They need to be treated like as if they are your own relatives. Evam sadhu bhavati. This is a right prescription. At the same time, during that period, there was another issue. A right of the physician to take a patient refused the treatment. And there is the number that says like, Hunters and astrologers and those who are always sinners, they are not to be treated. Of course, in the another context later we will come to that next in the Shishana Prasha again the same thing will be repeated. During that even those criminals also are uh, the excluded from the charges of treatment. So, right, right of physician to uh, prefer or refuse the treatment to a patient. That is an issue of a uh, legal issue. issue. Now, now, in the present situation, situation with the legal position of the uh, regulation of medical practice, now uh, a physician is not supposed to refuse the treatment to any of the patient who comes to him. And no physician shall arbitrarily refuse the treatment to a patient. This is the law which says. And of course, this is exactly what we have, that code of ethics, etiquette. Now, uh, code of etiquette is not really a, a, this constitutional law. But constitutional law, whenever there is an issue, code of etiquette will be referred to. So hence, it's having an equal position as that of the law. But there are some certain situations where the uh, treatment could be refused. And those are, one is, a physician may refuse to treat the patient when the possible management of that is not within the range of experience of the treating physician. Suppose a physician finds himself incapable of treating that condition, he should not treat that patient. He may refuse the treatment, but he has an obligation of referring the patient to another physician. Or a medical practitioner having an incapacity that him, he himself is being ill and because of his illness or his incapacity, the patient may not be treated well in that condition too, a refusal treatment is possible. So as per the current uh, existing proved law, these are tested in the court and these are the only two situations where the patient would be, uh, patient, the treatment can be a refused, so refusal of the treatment, unlike Sushuta spirit, where so the physician would be uh, deciding about the treatment based upon the character or maybe the social history of the patient. Now, with the current law, you are not supposed to do that. Even if the patient is a known criminal, you need to treat him because the law doesn't permit you to refuse the treatment. And he may, of course, at the same time, there is an issue of controversy. In the same guideline, there is another sentence saying a physician is free to choose whom he will serve, but he should aware respond to any request for his assistance in an emergency. Once having undertaken a case, the physician should not neglect the patient, nor should he withdraw from the case without giving adequate notice to the patient and family. This is the existing current law, uh, which was really formulated in 2002. In Western countries uh, like USA, a rude behavior of the patient is good enough or, or legally sound enough to refuse the treatment. Now, a similar issue had to be added to the uh, our Indian uh, law, and this was pressed by IMA. And this uh, there was a, a modification, amendment to that uh, rules of ethics of 2002 in 2016. But that the 
a class says a patient or his family who have troubled a uh, doctor for no logical reason but usually to discern a legitimate fees those who create nuisance of any sort indulge in violence of any sort like verbal physical destructive pollution coming alcoholic coming in alcoholic or under some intoxicated state need to be refused to the treatment now this uh, is again uh, a suggestion still it's not in the legal position a rude behavior of the patient being a sufficient legal ground to refuse the treatment in india still is not in a strong legal base it's one of the recommendations and uh, the words are made so anyway that's about the issue which we need to know about now the last part of the sentence the shishokula is uh, uh, when the student is taken into the study or uh, part of the study everyone would be pressing upon the student to read and read throughout but a yes, scientific method of studying would not be a continuous reading rather there has to be some gaps and those gaps intervals are krishne ashtami tannidhane ahani dve shukle tatha api evam ahad dvisam jam that's uh, in the uh, in a fortnight the first day of the fortnight that's a full moon day and uh, the last day of the fortnight new moon day and eighth day of the fortnight so it's uh, once in a week there will be a a off weekly off now in the current system we consider sunday as off whereas in the olden days the off days were the first day of the fortnight eighth day of the fortnight 15th day of the fortnight so virtually it's as good as what we have now so the present system is a, a rather copy of the existing uh, system which was in the gurukula now in addition to that regular holidays the other holidays could be akala vidyut skarnayitnu ghoshe swatantra rashtra kshidipa vyathasu smashana yana adyatana ahaveshu mahotsava autpatika darshaneshu nadhyam anyeshu jayeshu vipraha nadhiyate na ashuthi natanityam now you are not supposed to read when there is a, a natural calamity like uh, lightning or flood or so on akala vidyut skarnayitnu ghoshe or when there is a national calamity swatantra rashtra kshidi prabhatas like a war or maybe a leader has died and so on if there is a issue related to the nation and the area value study also is important you are not supposed to study in a, <coughs> a mortuary mashwana or you are not supposed to study during travel or in between a war you are not supposed to study or you are not supposed to study in the a middle of a festival uh, our outpatika darshan issue whenever there is a possibility of natural calamity you are not supposed to study now sushruta says in any of those conditions which are considered as anadhyaya now in vedic study manusmriti considers many of those reasons of anadhyaya of course there is a huge detail like but i just summarize that what the manusmriti says about anadhyaya are they are either naisarga kaarana that's an isari karana like either lightning flood and so on or yajniya karana because there are certain days which are considered as a more auspicious for the yajna and that yajna should be given priority but not the study this is what uh, manusmriti says and kaladeshiya karana kaladeshiya is a time and place conditions which includes all that the national issues or social issues or its uh, issues related to the festival and so on so that's about the uh, method of study and na ashutinathani jam before you start in study you should be physically and mentally clean this is what uh, the suggestion for the study so sushrut samhita is not simply a textbook of medicine it's a textbook of education too so that's about the shishyopanayana adhyaya